Freya, when Hildesvini went to Helheim, how did he not freeze to death? The perk of the Yofer. The boar-shifting warriors of Vanaheim, as wise in statecraft as they are deadly on the battlefield. So they may shift into whatever form they like. Sure, so long as the only two shapes they'd like to shift into are human and boar. Something is on your mind. What is it? Freya's sword. I'm glad he got it back. Odin stole it? Not quite. It couldn't be stolen. It had to be given freely. Freya had it forged in his younger days, imbued with its own motives and passion. For centuries, he swore he would only ever set it down. In death? Or upon meeting the love of his life? Both he and the sword were romantic, you see. There's more of these Asgard fragments out there. The Einherjar will continue to be a nuisance for the realms. Only if we do nothing. The realms will never heal if they remain. How many more? 
Only one way to find out. Freya, you spoke of your brother's sword. How did Odin acquire it? I'll answer this one. Odin uh, disguised himself as the most beautiful person Freya had ever seen. This separated Freya from his sword. <laughs> oh, with embarrassing speed. <laughs> I am glad Freya ultimately retrieved it. Me too. My little boy. Brother, I've heard my share of stories about your homeland, but I've also heard that you once fought in a tournament. I fought in many contests. But this particular one... I heard you did battle with beasts, scoundrels, princesses, the undead, automatons, and history's greatest musician. That's not... that's not true, is it? I did not speak of this. Later on, facilities demand our more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. Hey, uh, near the little shop I'm running out in the Alcon Desert, there's something y'all are probably gonna want to see. Ragnarok armor's on the house. We'll call it a commemorative piece. This here's the fun part.
You again. You know, you're the reason Odin's thugs are marching around the city. We're killing all the Einherjar we can find, if that's any consolation. Whoa, whoa! How about we just take that outside? This is a peace-loving establishment. Odin is gone. So they say. Hence the state of teetotaling perfection you see before you. The man before you is as sober as the day he was born. You are still drinking. This is goat's milk. It is brown. It was an ugly goat. Look, the point is, it actually happened. A man lives with a boot on their face long enough, they lose hope their cheeks will ever feel the same. None of us ever really thought we'd get rid of Odin. That we did, and that you helped. Well, it's not something anyone's likely to forget. Thank you. Yeah, well, same to you.
Continue to follow his orders and keep the realms under his thumb. Not for long, they won't. This here is the fun Oh, <laughs> 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 
Got destroyed. Where will the Inharyar go? Valhalla exists both inside and outside of Valhalla. <laughs> that's what became of it. Aye. Suppose they'll have to find rest somewhere. I look forward to exploring all time and not having to fight elves. Oh? What makes you think that's an option? They've united, haven't they? What possible reason would they have to attack us? Sorry to say, but there are still plenty of elves out in the Barrens eager for conflict. But... why? Freyr united them. They fought together at Ragnarok. For those who have spent their lives in combat, peace is not always an option. This will be of use. Oh, good timing! Remember that thing I said you was gonna want to see? You better go feast your peepers before it's over. 
Ragnarok armor's on the house. We'll call it a commemorative piece. Hell of a job you did at Ragnarok, General. Wish I could have been there to see you and Sindri take down Thor and Odin. That is not what happened. Yeah, maybe not, but it's the story I like best. Important thing is, Odin's paid in full for what he did to Brock. I know it doesn't fix what's broke, but it ain't nothing. Hello, Lunda. Hey, you got it. Uh, about your brother. I never got the chance to tell you. I, I know moments like this you're supposed to say sorry and whatnot, but I always known that pretty, pretty man had greatness in him. That he'd do something amazing one day, and I'm just... You know, I'm proud that now the Nine Realms know him too. Places to be, huh? Wait a bloody moment. Is that Thor's hammer and his daughter? I'll make you proud, Dad. <laughs> well, good for her. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm glad we can help these Ainhuryar on their way, even if they hate us for it. They do not need to spend their afterlife serving a cruel god any longer. Agreed. There, getting back to your brother learning to realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerd. Someone he could wander with as never before. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyer believed he navigated death while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he wandered. Not now. <laughs> How many of these fragments of Asgard there are? A realm's worth at least, so I'd say we have our work to do.
Whoa! Whoa! 